All right, we got Jim. We got Tasia. Uh, we got myself. Uh, we got Trice, who might try to talk every once in a while. I don't know. Who knows? Uh, he's his own man. He's his own man. We're going to start this episode off by telling you about RP Strength. Ooh. You, go, you guys know I've been using the RP Diet app for a while now. It really helps me focus on training and not worry about what I'm eating. We've been pretty busy around here pumping out all these workouts on our YouTube channel. So if you're trying to lose fat, gain muscle, or improve your performance, search RP Diet app in the App Store. Use referral code FRONING and save 33% on your subscription. Don't forget to find them on Instagram, at RP Strength. That's good, right? You like that? That was my best, uh, was great. you know, ad, my best kind of DJ voice. You like that? Yeah. That's good. Three, five, Trice, what do you think? Can you read this? Ooh, yeah. No? <laughs> Can you read anything? Can you count to five? What's your name? Can you say anything besides no? Okay. It was pretty cool when he figured out who was on the yeah. on the picture today, though. He was really surprised. Oh. Come on, man. <laughs> <laughs> What'd you do that for? <laughs> Maybe spill my coffee. Oh. Well, for those who aren't watching this on YouTube, uh, as I was speaking... Trice decided to smack my hand right as I was taking a sip of good dude's coffee in a can yeah. and uh, spilled it all over the sheet. So, party foul, man. Get out of here. Go watch your tractors. Go watch your power wheels. We're losing it. It's this all good, though. Quarantine, yeah, this quarantine life is, um, I'm over it. No. Nope. You know, That's I, enough. I know there are a lot of big problems. Yeah. But I need a haircut. Yeah, it's getting there. I got you. I feel like I'm oh, homeless. Oh, cut your. I cut Ted's You'll hair. You'll cut one. my hair. I cut Ted's I hair one time. I make no promises of it looking good, but I'll cut it. Uh, you, you cut Ted's hair? Yeah. Do you not? Do you remember that? I remember. It was a good cut too. Because I went and took the first <laughs> yeah. cut, and everyone was like, "No." Nope. She done. No, <laughs> I've seen it. I, man, yeah. I've, you know how many haircuts I've had in my life? A lot. Yeah. I feel like I could. I mean, I'm not as good as Kendra, who cuts my hair, right. but I could cut. You, I would. I would feel bad. Ted, I didn't care. I was like, I got this. <laughs> Ted and was I, young. I thought it was a good I cut. I remember. You know the technique of like people cut hair where they're like... Right, right, right. Rich was doing that. I don't know if he knew exactly what he was doing. like feathering it, you know? Because you can't have like the straight across Lloyd Christmas. Man, I my dad cut my hair a couple times as a kid. Yeah. It's pretty much awful. Yeah, I remember. I remember like... And for me growing up, and still, I blame my mother actually for this, but like... When you got up in the morning, you had to do your hair. So, like, your hair had to be done. So, I feel completely incomplete if my hair is jacked up. And so, that's why I either wear a hat or my hair is done. And I blame her. And so, when my dad a couple times, like, ruined my hair. <laughs> and, like... Um, he gave you haircuts. Gave me haircuts With a couple scissors times. or just a razor? Just Both. Boom. My mom did a couple times. She got nixed. I cannot dad did see it. senior doing that. Oh, uh, it was just, like, ra- he did the... You might remember it was the pineapple haircut, basically, where you cut everything but the bangs. <laughs> okay. I was young. Yeah. Yeah, it was awful. And then another time in, I guess it was high school or right around college, he, oh, I was I was like, oh, I'm going to buzz my head for the summer or whatever. So, I buzz my head. Well, he tries to take my sideburns like up to here. <laughs> and I was so pissed at him. So pissed. So, <laughs> I, dad's not touching my hair. But I feel like if I had to, I in a bind, I couldn't cut my own hair because I can't, you know, do that mm. thing. But I, if you need it. Yeah, we, I could buzz it down and be fine. Yeah, but... Look, seriously, your roots are showing, though. You've got to get something <laughs> done. The gray showing through. <laughs> yes, thank goodness we're not there yet. Do you dye your hair or anything? No, this is yeah. my natural All hair. All natural. Mm, I yeah. ain't got time. I have gray highlights that I put in mine. Oh, yeah. They look good. Yeah. I'm liking that touch. It's salt or salt and pepper, right. is that what they call it? I just have bald for. highlights. So <laughs> there's that. Kind of that skin color. <laughs> yeah, skin color shining through. So. I am so happy to have hair right now. Yeah. Like, yeah. I text the lady who cuts my hair and I was like, hey, listen, are you are you cutting hair? Like, you do like yeah. a front porch cut Like, or can something? you come into the yeah. house or whatever? She's cracking up. She's like, no, a couple, couple of weeks. She's like, just... She's friends with Kristen from high school. Hey. Uh, there's actually this vine going around of like women getting bored in quarantine and like cutting and dyeing their own hair and just it's all fails. Like cutting your bangs and then being like <laughs> here. Just nah, so dude. bad. That's a bad thing about hair is it takes a while. It does. Yeah. It's not something that's just like, oh, I screwed that up. Let's, no. You know, it's like, yeah. Kristen can't get her nails done and she does that. And so she went and got those press on. Yeah. Am I saying it right? Yeah. Yeah. And she was like. Those are so nice. For several afternoons now, she's been like all excited. And let me try black and yeah. putting them on. And I'm like, hey, whatever makes you happy. Whatever. That's awesome. I mean, I gotta floats get some. your boat. Yeah, that's those are they're not major problems, but the cold quarantine thing. 
I don't know about the body weight workouts. That's I'm certain. tired of it. I'm Ooh. sick of it. <laughs> my fitness, my fitness hurts. <laughs> yeah, these They're workouts hard. are killing They're me. So hard. Single dumbbell stuff is so hard. It's so bad. The one we did this morning was terrible. It was, it was a single arm thruster and double under workout, and it it hurt my soul. Yeah. Yeah. Thruster double under usually gets you. Yeah, it's good. No matter what. Yeah, like your like your shoulders. Because you're trying to stabilize the dumbbell and then, you know, just trying to push that thing up. Your calves get lit up and then trying to do double. It was just all around a terrible workout. So Yeah, using the 35, like just because you have to keep going. There's no reason really to not to to go. can't put it down because it's like. That's what the bad part of all these feel like every single day we're doing open workouts. It's terrible. Every single day. Maybe we'll be ready for the open this year. I don't know. (laughs) I don't know if I'm doing. Well, don't you think you can? You can get fit doing this now. You can, uh, yeah. Yeah. I mean, I mean, it's definitely you know like there's no excuse not to do. If you have a dumbbell and a place to work out, there's no excuse. And so, I think it's you know these workouts have been tough, but they're they're good. Yeah, I'm learning a lot. I feel like body weight's harder than I thought it was. Yeah, way harder, and the combinations (laughs) and stuff. You know, that is something though. Like we were saying, we we did a couple like heavier barbell workouts, and I. You know, you were saying that you were afraid you were losing some, like, capacity at those things. I I don't necessarily think that's it. I think it's the volume of what we've been doing. And we've been doing those type of workouts maybe on a Saturday or a Friday. And so all the collective volume from, you know, last week doing 400 air squats in a workout and stuff like that adds up. And by the end of the week, your nervous system is just shot. You know, it's a different stimulus, I guess. So I don't necessarily don't think that you lose a ton of strength, you know. If this thing drags out for another month or two, strength comes back pretty quick. Um, I think people get so caught up in, you know, I want to lift some heavy weight and stuff like that, that uh, it starts to stress you out. But I think I think everybody's going to be just fine. I think it's a good, probably needed break because a lot of people over the last couple of years have geared more towards the heavier stuff. Yeah. And I think it's it's different. It's a different stimulus. So. With, with you guys not as focused on, like, competing, it's been really different around here. Yeah. Because you guys kind of, one of your main focuses and pursuits is... Yeah, we don't really know if we're yeah. competing or not. You know, like, not to say we're not going to compete. We, Who knows? Right. <laughs> I don't know. I'm I'm done trying to figure it out, too. It's like, all right, it's either going to happen or it's not going to happen, and we're going to try to stay as fit as we can. And hopefully, by the time we actually know something, uh, we'll, we'll have some time to get back on a more of a games-level training track. Not to say we aren't still training hard. I mean... This week yeah. we added a couple extra sessions in of just some like higher skill stuff, um, a little bit different than what we had been doing, and I feel wrecked. <laughs> I feel so, wrecked. I mean, the hardest part with all this stuff is doing the live stream videos. Like you just have to not necessarily be on, but still kind of be on, and just yeah. be on a schedule where we usually we're just kind of shooting off the cuff and and free form. So it's been it's been different. I'm emotionally, m- mentally, just kind of I'm zapped. Yeah. yeah, and then having the kids here every single day has been, it's been. It luckily everybody helps, and you guys had yeah. them for a while while I was shooting some video out there, and Anna does a good job with them. And um, you it's know, hard work. That's the hardest work. Kids, kids are hard. I'm like, how do they do this <laughs> for like 24 seven? Auntie Tasia's on <laughs> it's overload. It's been an hour. I'm like, <laughs> they die. They're great kids. They're just, they're just wide open. They're, they're, they're just wide. Yeah, they're like not. They're not malicious. They're no, not anything. But no. they're just like. Trying to kill themselves every 30 <laughs> seconds. Trice especially. Yeah, yesterday was cracking me up. <laughs> when Trice was, what was he doing? He had like the iPad cord or whatever. Yeah, he had the plug into yeah. the wall. And uh, Tasia was like, oh, Trice, maybe you shouldn't have that. And I'm like, Tasia, take it from him. She goes, Trice, can I trade you this? And I'm like, Tasia, just take it from him. I don't like just taking it from him because then I'm the bad person. No, you'll be fine. They they crave discipline. <laughs> they crave it. Because I'm literally walking around every time I I see Trice, he's got something he probably shouldn't have. I'm like, give me that. <laughs> give me that. I have a bad, like that. sometimes, like he'll, like earlier, I'm trying to, he's playing in the printer. Anna was changing the printer out and ball. He gets his feelings hurt so easy. And I've, I've got to be better about it because sometimes I'm just like, what do you do? What are you thinking, man? Like <laughs> with the girls, I'm like more nurturing and I'm like, oh, it's okay. You know, but with something about a dad and a boy, yeah, I don't know what it it's is. True. Like, it's just, it is what it is. The expectations are different. And you know, I'm tr- trying to get him out of the printer. And so I'm going to shut, like he, He's grabbing all this printer paper out because Anna's still doing orders and shipping stuff out. And he grabs all this, like, paper that has uh, peel-offs on the back that you can stick on the envelopes and ship them. So I'm like, 
dude, that's expensive. Give me that. And so he's, I put it back in there. Really shoves the the drawer shut, and my hands there, and I'm like smack his hand i'm like what are you doing he just runs off and i look in there and he's in the corner like start not really crying but like whining crying i'm like man i suck yeah. you know you just feel awful but you're just like what are you thinking dude like there's been so many times like people are gonna freak out I, you give them a little slap on the back of the head like come on man yeah. like yeah i don't know it's just that boys kid, you love him as much as you discipline which is awesome yeah, yeah, and that yeah. kid that kid is your shadow yeah, whatever sure. you're doing he's trying to be in the That's middle like, of it just try to get you tr- you get so like not annoyed by any means, but you're just like, just chill. But then you're like, man, I want him there whenever he wants to be there. Violet the same way. Like <laughs> those two in the mornings. Because Hillary, usually I let her sleep a little longer. And so when I've been leaving early in the morning, I'm like, if they want to come to the gym, I let them come to the gym. So this morning, Violet's, Violet every morning is like, Jim, Jim, we're going to the gym. Trice is in this like kind of quasi, like he wants to kind of watch YouTube kids. I'll let him for like, 20 minutes in the morning to kind of like wake himself up, watch a little bit of TV and while I'm making coffee and trying to get everything ready to go. And so this morning he's like caught in this, like, I want to watch TV, but I want to go with you. I'm going to stay and watch TV. And I'm like, all right, Trice, we're leaving. Like you coming or, we, you know, are you staying here? He's like, I'm staying here. I'm like, all right, man. So me and Violet walk out, load her up start driving off and I just happened to look in my rear view mirror. I don't even know why I did. But you can just see Trice like running after the truck, wide eyed, crying. And I'm like, ah, crap. He's like no shoes on, running down the gravel. And I'm like, I don't have time to run him back to the house. I mean, I'm not super hot, far from the house. I'm like where the, the concrete stops and the yeah. gravel starts. I'm probably a yeah. hundred feet into that. But I'm like, I'm already running a little bit late. These things start at 815. Like I've got to be there. So I'm like, you're coming like this, buddy. And so he, you know, it took him about five minutes to calm down. He's like, I want to go back and see mama. And I'm like, sorry, dude, we're, you're going with us. And so he's been fine all morning. But yeah, it's just like, they're just, they're always, they're they're, always on, man. They're always there. They're always on, which is, you know, it's awesome that they can come and and watch and hang out and make incredible messes everywhere they go. But (laughs) she's like, yeah, she's just, and then Violet, you have the sweetest one. That's just, she's just Violet. She's a sweetheart. Yeah. It's cool that they get to, like, this is their world, yeah. you know? The gym's kind of their home, too. and Yep, they just kind of do what they want to do. It's really different with, like, because there's just a small amount of people that are here. The yep. gym's been closed down, and there's just, like, the same four or five people five floating people around here, yep. here or whatever. Yep. It's just been different not having yeah. tons of people come through and all the personalities that are usually... Yeah. Are you yeah. guys totally sick of each other yet? or Yeah. It's I the mean, same thing we do every day. So I don't feel like it's any different <laughs> other is. than... We're other, just here, not at the barn. Yeah, and we don't have our 3 o'clock crew. And Kristen's been gone, and there's nobody yeah. else, really. So, yeah, it is. I mean, I'm getting tired of you. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> it's just the honest truth, but what but, are you going to do? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it could be could be worse. We could be stuck in, like, a, you know, a condo or a, <laughs> uh, an apartment. Like, yeah. I would lose. I don't know how sorry for those who are stuck That's... in the condos or apartments. I'd lose my mind. At least we have the, you know, we can go back and forth between the here and here in the gym and you know, there's, like you said, we're staying in contact with probably f- six people tops a day. Yep. Uh, but it is weird when you start to think about it. You're like, think about the people that you usually see on a day-to-day basis you're not seeing anymore. Mm-hmm. And, um, you know, we are trying to, to distance as much as we can and still still pump out and do the stuff that we need to get done, uh, you know, to do this type of stuff. Because people, you know, are going to say, well, you guys aren't social distancing right now. And at, at some point, it's like we got to figure out a way to get back into, you know, not to get too political last night, but I was watching TV and the uh, governor of New Jersey, he was on, uh, I was, what was I watching? Tucker Carlson. You ever mm-hmm. watched on Fox sure. News? And he was talking to the, and this is only pol- politics I'll get into, but he was talking to the governor and he was like, all right, so you guys, uh, you guys arrested five people that are 15 people that were assembling at a synagogue in New Jersey. And he's like, at what point did you guys decide to override the Bill of Rights? And the governor looks at him and says, well, that's over my pay grade. I don't really know how we make these decisions and blah, blah, blah. And you're just like, what? You can't do that. Like, Mm -mm. then when you start to look at some of this stuff, yes, we need, like, you need to make caution or have caution about people, you know, doing this type, type of thing and dispersing people. But it's in the Bill of Rights, it says you have the freedom to assemble and yeah. freedom to, of a religion. Mm-hmm. And it's, it's just like, this is getting bizarre. It's and what's super scary bizarre. is all the, 
the, I don't know. It's just, it's leadership is taking a little too mm-hmm. much. I don't even, I don't know how to put it in the correct terms, it's, but it was, it was bizarre. I, I was like, wow. I never really, and I never really thought about it in that, those right. terms of like, Hey, it's in the bill of rights that you can do these things. And right. those freedoms are being taken away. It's kind of scary. I think like, and, and not to be well, like, we're not trying to be too no, political, no, no. but looking at it from just a 30,000 foot view, because in the end, when this is over, that's what the leaders are going to have to yeah. do. Yeah. Not How could we do this better? Everybody How, what as did an we individual, do right? what, yeah. their lives are important. Yeah. hundred percent. Exactly. But then who we are as a nation and how we do business and how we do life's important. Ben Franklin, I think it, I think, I think it was Ben Franklin. You guys will correct me if I'm wrong, but he said that it, the, the paraphrase is, is if you give up your freedom for safety, then you deserve neither one of those things. Mm-hmm. And that was, you know, yeah, whatever hundreds of years ago, he said that. So I don't know. Those are those overarching principles yeah. are super important. And Crazy. those are the things that really concern me. Mm-hmm. I'm really concerned yeah, about it's like what freedoms come back, what's what don't. Mm-hmm. You know, like mm-hmm. hey, you you give up too much. That's how it yeah. all goes downhill. This is just Jim Hensel talking, but I don't I don't trust politicians nope. at all. Nope. So it's not something and and, and I don't necessarily even some of these doctors, I don't know right. like obviously like I you're gonna listen to a doctor, you should. Right. But some of these like what's their over like I don't know right. where are you getting kickbacks? What I don't know. I don't wanna get into that. Yeah. Sports. <laughs> <laughs> what sports are happening right nothing. now? Nothing. <laughs> Freaking nothing. Did you see that they said that they're talking about major league baseball could come back but with no fans? There was a couple different – one thing they talked – I don't know how familiar you guys are with baseball, but they have the Grapefruit League, and I forgot what the other one is, but basically you have a league that – spring training, you have a league that happens in Florida, and you have a league that happens in Arizona. So they talked about doing that, mm-hmm. keeping them in Florida, keeping them in Arizona. Two leagues, separate leagues, they play each other for a champion. It's just the things that are happening. Wow. You know, like, or weird. they're tra- talking about doing the – you know, doing a season, you know, the traditional way. Right. But no fans. And players would have to be quarantined in hotels, hotel to hotel to hotel to hotel oh to hotel, gosh. and tested like almost every single day. Mm, this is getting, man, I don't know. It's get yeah, it's getting weird. The whole Dana thing. White, the UFC president, yeah, he went and got an island. I heard, but they then were, he can't travel to it, right? They, well, they were going to call it Fight, Fight Island, and it was in suppose I, th- I guess it was in U.S. territory oh, okay. waters. And he was like, "Screw it, we're having this fight, whatever mm. the next UFC fight was," and then. And he was like charging ahead and gonna make it happen, and it's and then I guess that he said that I saw an interview with the head of Disney and ESPN or whatever called and said please like back off stop because he was like no we're doing this you know and so I guess it's not happening now but the whole sports thing yeah it's weird I don't know if Americans will allow I mean football we're gonna mess with football are you kidding me Man, fear is a crazy thing jeez fear I mean that's it's insane. yeah it's insane. I, I don't think you can mandate. Can you mandate someone be tested in order to do something? I would not to go back to the. Uh, yeah, I don't, I, we we actually had one of these podcasts where we scrapped it because oh, yeah. there was too we, much talk. Yeah, we got a little too. <laughs> we deep were like, into all right, it. let's not even let's uh, yeah, let's get rid of that because I, I think those are all really important questions that need to be answered. Yeah, for sure. And it, we need to pay attention well, to it. And then, like they were saying last night on this interview, because then they had uh, a Louisiana senator on there talking about poverty kills more people per mm-hmm. year than the coronavirus has so far mm-hmm. so far so i don't know I, I don't know those answers and that's why i'm not a politician and i don't want right. to be a politician because i don't want to make those type of decisions right and being a politician the job sucks yeah we've talked about before For being sure. the president of the united states is probably the worst job on the planet Sounds because 50 yeah. percent of the people are gonna well sometimes 50 percent, sometimes less are gonna hate you <laughs> yeah. sometimes more are right. gonna hate you and well to circle back around your first comment was about the governor of new jersey mm-hmm. and listen he ought to know in my mind, he's the governor. Yeah, you should. I'm know. not running for governor. Mm-mm. You aren't either. Mm-mm. We're but, just. I'm just an idiot over here jabbering. Yeah. But he's the governor. Yeah. He should know. He yeah. should know. Yeah. And it's sure. the Bill of Rights. Right. And yeah. Yeah. So there yeah. you go. What do you think, Tasia? Man, <laughs> I'm just thinking. Being president sounds terrible. If you think about 50 percent of the people in the nation just hate you, or just, more, or Some more, days like more. just talking crap about you, I yeah. couldn't handle it. <laughs> We were, well, we were just talking we about. We were just talking about. You hate that. the occasional trash on your ins- <laughs> well, or on I any. I was just talking to Jim. I was listening to an interview with Lauren Daigle. See, I love it. Yeah, I know. I'm trying to get better, and <laughs> she was it. just Sorry. like 
talking about how there's always going to be negative comments, right? People coming always. in, people saying things and how to like navigate that. And for her, she's like, I just have to remember my purpose. And it's like tunnel vision towards purpose. Like I'm not looking at what these people are saying or doing because it's going to come in and just remembering like your ultimate, yeah. what you're shooting for. Because I was like, I just stopped looking at all the YouTubes and stuff. I'm like. The YouTubes? The, U- the <laughs> multiple? <laughs> there's been the, how many YouTubes? YouTubes are there? <laughs> I'm like, how many YouTubes a day are we doing? Uh, My favorite so ones, though, I don't know. How do you handle it? Do you pay attention? I know you like the hunting ones because uh, that's yeah, fun for you. I, it depends on the day, I guess. You know, I try not to look at a ton of the... I try not to... If if it's a controversial post or something, I'll look at the, the comments. And I try to give... You know, like if people are asking questions about stuff, I try to go through there when I can. I try not to be too absorbed on my phone most days. It's tough. Uh, but yeah, if I know it's coming, I love going on there like that turkey hunting one the other day. But I already put the disclaimer. And honestly, the what was crazy about it was the disclaimer I put on there was like, hey, I don't care about your negative hunting post. Like, I'm going to hunt. This is what I want to do. It's what I enjoy. I'm eating the meat. Like, mm-hmm. it's, you know, it's what I do. I'm not going to apologize for who I am. You're the one following me. I'm not following you. And that's yeah. the way it is. Yeah. But what happened was these other quasi- I keep saying quasi. I don't know the heck even that. Why are this? Where does this come from? These other <laughs> sidebars uh, happened and people started arguing about social distancing and how much of a redneck we were because we weren't social distancing. Even though those people that I were in the photo with me, I see, you know, are part of that group of whatever eight that I see a day. Well, anyway, right. um, then it turned into, well, it's Good Friday and you shouldn't eat meat on Good Friday. So then it turned into a, a Catholic slash Catholic versus Christian, with cat, which Catholics are Christians, turned into a, a debate about whether you should eat meat on Fridays or not. Oh, wow. And then within that is poultry, oh, <laughs> technically wow. meat. Like it was yeah. just like, and so yeah. I just sit there and kind of read some of those. And it's just, it turns, it's crazy what people can, like that one post you know, for it being as controversial as it is, uh, you know, about a, a turkey, it's not <laughs> even really an animal per se. People getting so butthurt about that. Um, I mean, it had 39,000 views, or I mean, likes, and almost 1,000 comments. That's a lot. And so, like, people were either, I got a ton of direct messages, though, like, you're an idiot, or right. uh, I got one. This was my favorite. <laughs> this was actually on, on Sunday. <laughs> Um, somebody did a Dolly Parton gif with thumbs down. Mm. And so I took a gif back of two turkey legs cheersing. <laughs> <laughs> did you get a response? Uh, no. Uh, that's so <laughs> awesome. And then they put, uh, somebody put uh, unfollowed and I've just put blocked. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, I don't know. I, I like that stuff. Yeah. And I usually don't even, I can't go through all my DMs most right. of the time, but I knew those were coming. Yeah, yeah. So I'm like, You're prepared. I could, uh, I could scan those. So yeah. it's pretty good. <laughs> It's so, and I know you are, and everybody's so thankful and so appreciative of the support and the people that that support and and kind of come along beside us. And yeah. we're so thankful for all yeah, of that. Yeah, for sure. And it's it's awesome. Right. We wouldn't trade it for anything. No. But inside of that, that's oh yeah, there's some there's yeah. some comedy going well, on. Well, what's sure. great is you know the people that are passionate and like I have a buddy that I won't I won't out him because. It wouldn't be as fun for him, but he'll go through there and just like troll me to see what people like people that are passionate about following us and are supporters of us are awesome. They're hands down the best, Right. but they fire him up. Like they'll just go at him like you suck, like blah, blah, blah. You have no idea. You probably, and he's a good friend, like really good friend of mine. I won't, I won't out you there, uh, but it's so funny to just, cause he loves it. Cause he'll just troll, you know. Not, yeah. not malicious, yeah. but, you yeah. know, like just enough. You guys know who it is, yeah. but it's so good. And people get so passionate. Like yeah. they don't know yeah. who he is. It's so funny. So. Well, it's kind of crazy because in the end, I know Tej and I were talking about this. Yeah, but you, you, gotta, you just got to be good with who you are and what you're yeah. doing. And you got to keep coming forward. Yeah. And a lot of the people, honestly, that are paying attention to some of that stuff, they don't have, they're not maybe making a great use of their time. Right. And at a certain point, you yeah. Just can't, not can't everybody's going to like you. No. Yeah, sure. And you don't want everybody no. to like you. Because yeah. then you're just kind of You're not there. doing what's right. You're yeah, not you're taking enough wrong. chances. Yep. And so, I mean, I think you said that a couple of times. You want 50% of the people to like you and 50% to either be uneasy around you or, yeah. or not like you at all. So I was telling Tasia that like the, it's crazy because I get, I get more pushback from 
people of faith really than anything yeah um because they don't think that i'm necessarily using the platform to preach right you know that's not what i do right it's not it's not what my role is right you know? um and that's sometimes really disappointing you know right. when you get a really critical email from somebody who literally is telling you what well theologically from, yeah, or, yeah or what god told them yeah and i'm like shoot that's crazy because God didn't tell me that. <laughs> yeah, right. It's nuts. Yeah. I don't know what you're hearing, yeah. but, you know. It's, I'm not hearing the same thing. We got a different line. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. I don't know if we... Translation I, may be a little different. I don't know if we're... I'm, I guess I'm getting... What? I'm getting it from the King Jim. King Jim. The King Jim's version? See, I'm sorry. <laughs> that would still be the King James, James version. James, well, that is my ah, official name. There King you go. James. Man. Sorry for that Those dad joke this that, morning. Yeah. Oh, that was good. Yeah. Yeah, people love the King James version. Yeah. And it's... I'm not going to get into no, it. No, we should, <laughs> we should like, just roll through that I'm not, one. I'm not, I can't read thou and thus and this and that. And, right. Like this I mean, and that that's so you know, not what God's looking for, right? No. So, that no. you read and King it's, James. I'm not, yeah, we're not going to get into no, the theology but. there. But. Is, the, is the new coffee shop going to be open by the time all this kind of winds down? The game down, plan or? is even if it's not, uh, even we're next couple of weeks. I want to have at least doing drive up or something like that. But yeah, oh, that'd be great. Bison Brew, hopefully, it'll be open soon. Uh, we got a interviewing a guy on Friday actually. Nice. Right on. He's done some stuff. Worked at uh, Eighth and Roast in Nashville. Cool. Then some stuff in Murfreesboro. So to 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 run to the run shop. It. Yeah. Nice. I'll so. at least be a customer. So good. Thanks, Tasia. We'll give you a punch card. <laughs> yes. Are you guys gonna do punch cards? You get cards? a loyalty you card. Uh, yeah, you get a loyalty card. <laughs> you get one free cup a day, and then everything after that you're paying for. <laughs> Dang, that's a lot. <laughs> okay, maybe once a week. Yeah. Okay, I'm like you're giving away a lot if you're giving me a free cup a day. Yeah. So uh, looking forward to that. It'll be something different. It'll be cool. I think that's a really cool use of that space out there. Oh, and, then, yeah. and then when, you know, Lord willing, all the stuff happens and people start showing back up around here, it'll be a really cool part yeah, of it's the flow some, of traffic around private here. private rooms and stuff like that, too, that people can kind of rent and hang out and have an actual, like, office space. So. I think, too, for, like, the college people, a bunch of college kids come here, yeah, like, to good. study and stuff. Yeah. yeah. I mean. That's kind of the hope. Mm-hmm. Oh, that'd be cool. Looking forward to it. Got to get a bunch of bison slash buffalo pictures in there. It'd be cool. It's going to be my new office, man. Oh, uh, Did, have we had a podcast since we got Custer? Have you seen Custer yet? I've seen Custer. I did. I was He's up at the barn and did so that thing. Big. He's huge. Really big. Massive. Huge. The animal is... <laughs> uh, like, the other ones now, I'm not intimidated whatsoever. Right. Like, I mean, obviously, like, I have some, like, right. respect because they're right. huge and they could kill me if they wanted to at any point. But I'm comfortable. That SOB, I'm not comfortable around. Like, Man. even when he gets up to the fence, I'm like... Nope, I'm not messing with you. He's his head is as wide as this table. That's but crazy. We uh, the other day, so we we uh, are doing this thing where rotational grazing. People who don't know farming, um, we have it set up to where we're going to put a water source in the middle. And we have three fields, and basically they have access to the water on all three fields, so we don't have to do anything here. And you can uh, rotate them on the outer part of the field. So they'll be in this back field for until the grass looks like it's getting kind of short or uh, we don't want to overgraze. And then we'll rotate them to the field to the left while these other two fields are growing. And then you just keep rotating and allow the, it's supposed to be better for the grass, better for the soil. And so the other day we're like, all right, we got this cross fencing up. We don't have the water yet, but we have a water source in this back field right now until we get the water source set up. Let's go ahead and just start, start rotational grazing. them. So we put a, uh, a temporary gate up with some um, straps and stuff like that. And uh, they were in this front field. So we were trying to get them into this back field. So Matt runs up to the house. He gets some bread and he gets some, gets three or four of them to come through. Well, they see me on the other side of the gate and they just don't like when something's out of the ordinary and if somebody's out there. So three of them come through the gate. One of them's Custer. So three or four of them, I think it was three, were on this side of the gate. I'm in the field on the back side holding this gate because I was going to wait for all of them to come through. Well, the four new ones aren't quite used to us yet. They ain't coming. So now I'm stuck with Custer <laughs> and the other two. One's the, the boss lady, and she's a little aggressive too sometimes. And so I'm stuck behind the gate. Like I'm relative – like if I needed to, I could get out or like get up and they would leave me alone. But right. I'm still a little uneasy, and I'm like, all right, how am I – because then – like to run through to get to out of the fence, there's three here, six here. And I just, I'm not, I don't trust Custer yet. Right. Like the other ones I could probably walk out and be fine, but Custer, right. I'm just like, right. 
I don't know you yet. Yeah. So I'm like for like 10 or 15 minutes. I'm like, Matt, what are we going to do? He's like, you're stuck, dude. <laughs> I'm like, yeah. And so finally, I forgot how I got out of there, but I think I just finally was like, all right, I'm coming and just kind of casually walked across right. and hopped the fence. But it was just like there for a minute. Run. I was just like, it's a nice little adrenaline rush. You know, you're like, all right. How you much he- how much heavier do you think he is than he's the females? Probably, I mean, the other ones are around a thousand pounds or a little over. Um, he's 1900 pounds. Wow. It really surprised me when I came, when I came up to the barn and, it's just and just saw his, his head, head and shoulders. Just, yeah. he's just broad. It's got know? like traps. Huge. Yeah. <laughs> he, he's just muscled up. Yeah. Yeah. I thought his name was custard. Everybody thought it was custard. What did Hillary call him the other day? I kind of like that. Hillary called him Chester. <laughs> Why is his name Custer? He's from Custer, South Dakota. Oh, okay. oh. So there's a herd of bison out there and he came from okay. uh, out there. So they just, the farm that we got him from named him Custer. And we talked about changing his name, but it doesn't feel right. He's that's perfect. Yeah. Four or five, six years old, something like yeah, that. Yeah. So you can't change his name. Yeah. He, did, he doesn't really know his name, right. but you can't change his doesn't name. Doesn't seem yeah. right. his name. No. You got Custer, BB, and then just... The, the rest. <laughs> I do like the idea of maybe having like a t-shirt or something with Custer. Yeah, we talked about having That's a Custer t-shirt. Cool. We talked about maybe just doing an outline of him mm-hmm. and then through the middle just says Custer. I think what you need to do is one of those, uh, what's that? Is it Tiger King? Yeah, we talked about doing that a Bison King shirt. Let's do yeah. a Bison King shirt. We talked That'd about cool. that. But I haven't watched Tiger King, so I kind of have like either. a phony doing it. Yeah. Yeah. Did you well, watch I guess it? I haven't watched it. I guess <laughs> I we got to watch it. I don't think I can watch it. I don't... Uh, yeah yeah it's one of those i'm like i haven't seen it but Everybody i've seen all the memes and stuff it. yeah right love it but right. i think they love it because it's like crazy and outlandish i think the dude's yeah. like insane isn't he from everything i've heard he's just I think like, the woman's insane too okay yeah right that's that's the rumor i mean well somebody told me he was like a polygamist but he's but it's oh. like he's married to three dudes yeah he's a homosexual polygamist, polygamist. Yeah. okay that's not something i've ever heard of i'm sure oh. it's no there but yeah yeah i don't think i it's just not my i don't think i'm gonna dial into that one yeah me either yeah so Ma'am athlete. Time for a commercial. What are you doing? Is this a commercial break, break for the reals? I'm going to try this. <laughs> okay. We're, we're still giving away Mayhem 30 and Mayhem 60 to all members who sign up for any of our programs. These are no equipment or minimal equipment workout programs. We're also doing free live classes with me every morning to begin the day. Sometimes Tasia as well. Actually, Tasia, you're on every day as well. I am. <laughs> uh, yeah. We alternate. Tuesdays and Thursdays, though, you do Mayhem 30. Yeah. Every day of the week, change. though. All of our uh, athletes have access to whatever I'm doing. <laughs> <laughs> pause, pause. Actually, sorry. For all programs except for M30 and Mayhem Accessory, Mayhem 30 gets you on Tuesday and Thursday. All of our other ones get me all throughout the week. M30 is still free for 40 days with the code M30. The number three zero, not the, the word spelled out. If money is tight and you want to try out first. That's yeah, good stuff right there. like perfect. that? That's yeah. solid work. Yeah. I yeah. Mean, you know, if this fitness happening. thing doesn't work, I'll just go to, you know, radio. There you go. <laughs> radio. I don't even think that's a thing anymore, is it? <laughs> I think radio. Do people still. listen to radio still? People do. Yeah. Really? Yeah. yeah. I haven't I, listened to the radio in forever. I haven't either. I, Actual I radio. actually switch sometimes to like, I listen to Way FM as long as they're not doing Pledge Drive. When they do, What's that? Uh, mm-hmm. They're privately funded. They're not, they don't get, I don't know. They have to do, they have to, People pledge money to keep the radio station open. So every quarter, mm-hmm. I think it's every quarter, they're just hounding you for money. And I'm like, I can't. And I donate. Mm-hmm. So it's like, I'm not giving any more. So I'm like, I can't, I can't do this. Right. And so I'll switch it off every quarter. But I feel like we just listen to music all the time out here. I do every once in a while want to hear some people talking. Yeah. Some talk. Yeah. And then a podcast is almost too hard sometimes to like. Because you have to focus I'm on in it. and out. I got kids, you know. Try screaming in the back, so it's usually it's not going to happen. So. I, I tried uh, Amazon Music. Not that they need any more money. I'm not, but Is I kind of like, well, Pandora is kind of the yeah. same, you know, where yeah. you can pick a channel so yeah. you can listen to whatever you want. I, I like that. Have you tried Spotify? I, no, my, that's what the kids are doing, I, I guess. My daughter said I need to be doing Spotify. It's so good. <laughs> the kids these days. I don't know what Spotify is. Who's Who's Spotify? <laughs> what? Who's no. Jumanji? Have you seen the new Jumanji? Jumanji. I have, yeah. Oh, it's really good. It's pretty good. It was good. It's really good. good. I, I watched those. Onward, too. That was really Onward's good. Onward's good, right? It was really good. Sad. Super it was sad. sad. Super sad. It's really good, though. I liked it. Uh, Sonic the Hedgehog. I don't know if we talked about this. I did. We did I talk about Sonic. Sonic. Sonic is good. Uh, Call of the Wild. I just watched you that. You said that. That's yeah. a good one for kids. I Try some see into that. 1917. Really Oh, I saw that. 
Is it good? It was good. It's really good. Just, if you like war movies, it's I really love good. war movies. Yeah. You're gonna right. like it. I really wanted to watch it in the theater, but I, I mean, I don't have any time. As, as soon as these guys go to sleep, I try to go to sleep because because you're gonna have to get up. Yeah. At- so I've been mean, talking like eight thirty, nine o'clock. We've been in bed a couple nights. I feel like I'm so old. I'm getting old. <laughs> Can't stay up. If I'm past ten o'clock the next day, I feel like I'm in college again and hungover. Yeah. Like I'm hurting. Yeah. I gotta. I gotta go to bed by nine. 9.15 yeah. maybe at max because we're up at yeah what time do you get up well now I've been getting up earlier when we used to train at like 10 I would try and sleep until like 7.38 but I've been getting up a little bit after 6 just because I like there's certain things I like to do in the morning and I like to just be up for that so if I don't get in bed enough time I'm not getting as much sleep as I used to get right. with this schedule right yeah. but yeah that's the way I am for some reason 6 o'clock I'm up the last, I'd never thought I'd be one of those people. I'm like, what do you mean it can't, right. can't fall back asleep? No, I can't. And then as soon as one of these guys is up, are up, one of these guys are up, I, I don't trust them. Yeah, there's been sure. a couple That's times fair. where I'm like, <laughs> I'm gonna lay back down, I'll let them run around, and then find them with a steak knife. And I'm like, all <laughs> yeah, right, it's not a good <laughs> idea. Past. We can't do that anymore. All right. <laughs> Trice is a psycho. Trice, you a psycho? Psycho. <laughs> It's crazy because our now that our kids are all grown up, our animals are now our kids. Oh, we got ducks. What? I saw that. Oh my god. They're gosh. so cute. No. No, they crap they all do crap. the time. Where'd I you... had two ducks before. What? Hillary got <sighs> Hillary. Which last night, backstory real quick. She, she goes, Did you guys do a podcast or a video where you told people to direct message me about your tattoo. And I was yeah. like, yes. So keep at it, everybody. <laughs> keep work. doing it. Keep sending direct messages. She's like, I, I get multiple direct messages every day about people telling me how controlling I am, how you should be able to do what you want with your own body, how you need this tattoo. Poor blah, blah, blah. Like it's No, it's so good. She needs it. And no. so, yeah, she does. I, let me be. Let me be me. <laughs> and so you're the boss of your own life. Yeah, I'm the captain of my own ship. And so, no, no, I'm not. <laughs> oh my God. I'm not even the first mate. Hey, anyway. listen, you wear the pants. Yeah, but she tells you when to put <laughs> them right. on. That's right. Take them off. Hey, hey. And so, where was I going? Oh, the ducks. And so the other day, she's like, "I want to get a baby goat." Blah blah blah. And the kids need this baby goat for Easter. And I'm like, "What are you gonna? You, you hate." livestock you hate wild animals like what are you gonna do and she's like i really want a goat i'm like all right in the back of my head i'm like hey i'm like we could have a goat kind of clean up some of the like underbrush in the woods you know we could fence them off and you know whatever whatever so i'm like all right if you want to get a pair of goats go for it she calls me She's like, I got something better and i'm like okay (laughs) so she brings home she got three ducks so she could have them for easter for the kids. So we have three ducks in a Rubbermaid container that every single day they have to have the wood chips taken out, thrown out in the woods, new wood chips because they crap everywhere. Yeah. <laughs> and then the kids, Lakeland loves them. She's doing great with them. I don't, I mean, it is probably teaching them some responsibility, but I'm like, they only right. get worse. I'm like, all right, in eight weeks, when, what? <laughs> in eight weeks, what are we going to do? She's like, well, they got to be outside. We got to get a chicken coop. I'm like, well, how are you going to keep something from... Because these things are going to die. Yeah. Something's going to get them. Something's going to get live. them. A little bobcat so I'm like, how are we gonna ex- I guess that's how we explain life and death. The circle mm-hmm. of life. <laughs> yeah, I actually had two ducks um, and a chicken, like a coop for them in a... What is it called? A raccoon came in. It was Mary and Gary. And Mary rac- and Gary. Mary and Gary. How raccoon. old were they? They were like actual ducks. Like, Did they you get them grown. as chicks? Yeah, when they were babies. Wow. And how long did you have them? Well, we're getting to it. Okay, so, sorry. Not that long. I think they were like maybe, I don't know. I don't know how old they were. I have right. no idea. But a raccoon got into the coop somehow and killed Gary. And so then Mary was just alone. Distraught. Yeah. And she actually was really distraught. Yeah, they say you, they say you cannot buy them without another one. Yeah. So she actually was really distraught. We ended up having to give her to my friend's parents who had ducklings and stuff. Okay. And she went and lived on. Um, so we didn't have them that long because, I mean... Same thing, like you're saying. They yeah, just my dad constantly. did that with the dog too when I was a kid. Gave him to another farm. <laughs> no, Mary survived, and I'm she went kidding. on to another farm and lived. My first thought is, I love the name Gary for a duck. <laughs> it's I so really good. do like that. Gary and Mary, that's good. Yeah, it's good. 
So yeah, I don't even. Uh, I don't know what's gonna happen with our ducks. Cause they grow up, they get big pretty fast, right? Or yeah, maybe? they're already okay. like they can stick their head out of the rubber mate. And I'm like, you can't keep. My thing was like we have this heat lamp, and I'm like, what happens if the thing falls in the the thing in the middle of the night and burns right. our house down for these right. stupid ducks? <laughs> yeah, that's. <laughs> so they're inside. Yeah, and they're gonna have to go outside. Yeah. So you're gonna have ducks roaming. An outside right. coop would be better. Yeah, yeah, oh yeah. We're that's the don't plan. Ducks She's kind of. Do what they got to do. Their business everywhere. Oh, they poop everywhere. They poop everywhere. Constantly. Yeah. These things like it's full of crap by the next morning. <laughs> yeah. And the water. I remember the water just like filled with poop. Funny bad story <laughs> from the last turkey that I killed on that I harvested on uh, Sunday. So it's obviously Easter. Kids are like. Story is I look out. This turkey's out in the almost right the front yard, but kind of off in the side field. I'm like, hey, Hillary. Kids had already done their like Easter thing with the baskets. I'm like, I'll be right back. She's like, what do you mean? I was like, just keep the kids in the house. So I run outside trying to work this turkey. Kids are beating on the door. So he takes off. Anyway, I I harvest him about probably 15, 20 minutes later. Like I ran after him like, well, I worked for this bird. You pursued this yes. animal. <laughs> I used a little bit of tactical home field advantage. But hey, they <laughs> have eyesight, you know, whatever. <laughs> and so there's actually a video. Hillary's like, I'm trying. I'm here trying to do Easter pictures. And I look over and it's me carrying this turkey. <laughs> so anyway, this guy... Loves it. He's like, turkey, turkey, like trying to like do whatever. And the first one and the second one, same. He's like, oh, turkey, trying to pet it, trying to do all this stuff. So I've got this turkey. It's starting to rain. So I take him into the garage So before I can clean him. I lay him in the garage. The trice comes out and the duck stuff's out there, like the food and water. So trice takes a bowl, grabs some food, sits up with the turkey. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> he's, like, he's like, here, turkey. And I'm like, no, trice, turkey's dead. And he goes... Turkey's dead, <laughs> and it just runs off. <laughs> He's just confused. He's trying to figure it out. I don't even think he knows what that no, means. But right. he was just that, like, yeah. <laughs> "Yeah, you remember that turkey? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah." But turkey, the first turkey, all the entire turkey got eaten, and then the second one sat in a brine, and is now. I, I actually, so what I learned a couple years ago was I would just take the breasts out and brine them. But it's so much, it's a lot of meat actually on that, you know, it's a 20 pound bird. And so I've actually started stripping it up and then putting it in smaller bags. So like they can be one time serving bags. Nice. So I actually got a recipe that I want to try about uh, turkey tacos. Did you say you're going to do maybe like a crock pot? Crock pot taco. Ooh, that like sounds good. Street tacos. That sounds good. Somebody was telling me about it. So I'm going to do that for lunch. I'm going to try that this weekend. I actually don't know what brine means. Uh, it's just basically salt. You can put oh. some sugar in there, but right. it just kind of gets the gaminess out of them. Uh, that first one we just let sit in beer for a day. And it turned out great. We nice. fried, we deep fried some, battered it, battered it up and deep fried some, and then actually just put some on the Traeger. And it's a little bit um, tougher than, you know, like chicken or anything like that, but turkey is, but it was, it's great. Brine's like uh, liquid, right? Like yeah. something. Yeah. So I just let it, uh, for 24 hours, I just let it sit in salt water. Mm. So I just put a bunch of salt in water and then just kind of done that. You can put some like brown sugar in there. I've heard it's a good thing, but uh, it's, it's good. Clean meat that, you know. Came from my land. Yep, that's good. So, um, I like it. It's awesome. I, I really enjoy like just being outside, you know, being connected. When are you taking her hunting? <laughs> we tried to take Ellie one time, me and Hewitt, and she surprisingly was quiet. We didn't kill anything, but or harvesting harvest anything, politically correct answer. But uh, um, yeah, I'd like to shoot, but I think we talked about this. Mm -hmm. Just sitting still. That's what well, I, I don't like. think I could do. That's why it. I like turkey hunting is you sit still for a little bit, but you're kind of playing a game where you're trying to go find them. I think I'd enjoy that more than like deer, where you I, just are like. I more of, and it probably is a detriment to the actual hunting. I I like to kind of spot and stalk, so I'll try to go either listen for a bird and try to get to him because uh, you can only shoot the males in the spring, or I'll try to spot them in a big field and try to work to them and. I'm, I would rather do that than sit there and play a waiting game back and mm. forth. It's, you know, partially impatient. But, yeah, I do more of a spot and stalk. I can't sit still. Like, that one day, uh, Saturday morning when I went, we walked five miles. And so, um, yeah. I can do that all day, but I can't just sit. Like, we at first, that morning, we sat for, like, three or four hours, and I'm just like, I can't do this. I was like, let's go walk. We didn't see anything, but... Uh, I, there was nothing just out. It was super cold that day, so we didn't really even hear it. We heard something when we first got there coming off the roost, but nothing else after that. But, man, I it's just nice being outside and mm -hmm. being connected to nature. And, and then, you know, I think it's part of our instincts is trying to, you know, it's 
you know, people want to freak out. Like, I'm not trying to do it for a trophy. Like, obviously, like, I'll, you know, I'm going to take the meat and then I will keep the fan or keep the beard mm-hmm. and keep the spurs. Like, you don't want the bird to go to waste. And then now I've been looking up some recipes to what to do with the legs because the legs are a little bit more gamey, a little bit more tough. Mm-hmm. Um, but I want to try to use as much of the bird as we can. So uh, somebody sent me a really good recipe for uh, turkey legs or turkey thighs. So Nice. And if you if you ever take her, I'd like to be there just so yeah. I could follow with the camera. Yeah, we'll go. See what goes we down. We all go. Hey, I'm a yeah. pretty decent shot. Are you? I've shot a couple guns. I've what kind of guns? Shot a shotgun okay. and a handgun. I've seen you line up for the shot. Hey, but I got better. I got better. Uh, <laughs> got she was better. like, turn. Kind of, <laughs> you could visibly on the video or on the picture, <laughs> the target's here, and you could, like, usually you can't really tell yeah, where yeah. somebody's aiming. Okay. <laughs> Especially instead of a short distance, and it was like off to the To be fair, I think I was closing because whatever You're we were doing the wrong, the, eye, the wrong yeah. eye on the, what is what are those things called? Sight. This was like a, it's kind of a, it's the concept two air rifle that we use. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's, one so of those it's a little things. weird. What kind of bullets did you use in the shotgun when you were shooting it? I don't know, Jim. You don't know? Okay. I'm sorry. You don't one, you don't use bullets in a shotgun. Shells. So. Yeah, there you go. Yes. Nice. Serious? <laughs> I didn't think in a million know, years right? she would get that. <laughs> I've got like basic. That's pretty good right <laughs> there. Basic. A plus. Thanks, Jim. A plus. So, I tried to set you up for failure you did. there. <laughs> that was close. <laughs> so yeah, it's fun. We'll have to go sometime. But yeah, it's I we got a couple more weeks. I'm two in. You can get four for the year, so now I'm kind of like, all right, so, you know, you've you got to be a little bit more selective now. Right. You know, so. What do you but, mean? Well, because you got, you can shoot uh, heart, like a, a Jake, which is a young bird. And so they're a lot smaller. Uh, so you don't get as much meat out of them. And they kind of have this goofy, like their beard is really small where like mm-hmm. a, a more mature bird has this like almost like paintbrush looking beard. And I mean, they just have more meat on the, the bigger ones. So. You want to, if you can, shoot uh, a more mature bird, and it, you know, right? They've lived longer. For, yeah. yeah, it's been around. It's yep. The cycle. Yeah. So literally, forty-five minutes after I come inside after that one on Sunday, another gobbler walks out mm-hmm. of the woods, and I'm just like, mm-hmm. you get to live another day, bro. Because yeah. <laughs> one, you can only shoot one a day, and two, I was like, if Hillary, if I leave this house again, Hillary, right. don't kill me. So, oh, you can only shoot one a day. That's a gaming thing. It, it is in the state of Tennessee. You can get, you can shoot four bearded birds because you could technically shoot a hen if she has a beard. Um, what makes them have a beard? Or not it's really kind of gross. I I'm like, what? I don't, I don't really know. <laughs> okay. I'm not, you know, okay. I'm judge, judgment free zone <laughs> here. Some have beards and some don't. Listen, if she wants a beard, let her have a beard. They, I mean, some women have beards. I don't know. You know? <laughs> if they knew. Anyway, you can shoot up to one bearded bird oh, a day man. and okay. up to four for a season. Okay. Aunt Betty, when I was growing up. Yeah. Uh, Aunt Betty had a beard? Aunt Betty had a mustache. Oh. And you're seven or eight. Yeah. Yeah. And your dad's over there looking at you like you have to give Aunt Betty a kiss. You know, and she's <laughs> she wants to give you some sugar before you leave. This and, took a turn. Oh, and you know that that, that mustache is gonna get on your face. Uh, uh. Girl, okay. You gotta know, right? If you have a stash, yeah, right? you do. Okay, okay. Come on, you know. man. Yeah. Aunt Betty was like in her eighties. But some girls that I knew that had like just a not a, like a it usually is the same skin tone and like <laughs> but still just a mustache, not yeah, you gotta know, right? You know. You would think. When you know, you know. You know. I don't know. My really? aunts love them. They always go for the mouth kiss. Mm. Oh, just really? Like last second, you give them like the <laughs> just oh, the yeah. corner, and you're like, oh. Man. I remember my mom had this friend. I don't know. She was like a mouth kisser, and I didn't really know her, and I was like. 15 mm-hmm. and the mouth I was always <laughs> <laughs> hey I'm 33 almost and I still get mouth kisses from my aunts I would be like I'm sorry mom I really don't want to see her because it's just like you're like I don't know what I'm doing ah, <laughs> I can't stop and then is it like the side one yeah, like, no like, you give them the last second you act like you're going in and then just quick, quick little like you still kind of get the corner of the mouth so they feel I think for any of my aunts listen to this so funny. we always all of us cousins joke about it that's it's so good. funny it's so, so good, good. Uh, our family is a loving family though mm. you know like they're uh, they're lovers that's good. I, our family's not really kissy. No, which is oh, ours. Are, <laughs> ours, our aunts. Yep. You got a, you got a big family. You got though. a big yeah, family. Big family. A big family. I wonder how they're doing with the new social distancing and yeah. no kisses on the lips. You know, like, <laughs> yeah. I so, don't know. 
Yeah, yeah. There's a lot of us, but yeah, we always. That's kind of the, the running joke, the, the ant kiss. And then my uncle jokes about it because he'll like uh. <laughs> lick his lips and do it, and you're just like, oh, come on. And he'll still he'll go like give you a kiss on the cheek, and you're just like, okay, Uncle Steve, that's enough, man. <laughs> he's the Detroit firefighter. So and he does it just to kind of oh yeah, just with yeah. method. Oh yeah, he's a goofball. Oh, so funny. I don't know if you guys have never met him, but he's he's one of a kind. Good dude. So. Well, with Inside Tracker, we've been using Inside Tracker at CrossFit Mayhem for years now. It helps us ensure that we train and recover to the best of our abilities. What is an Inside Tracker, you ask? It is an extremely personalized performance and nutrition system, and it analyzes your blood and DNA along with your lifestyle to help you op- optimize your body and reach your goals. So it pretty much turns your body's data into knowledge that gives meaningful insights, and you can customize action plans for nutrition, fitness, and lifestyle recommendations. Dial into your peak performance at InsideTracker.com. Use code MAYHEM, all caps, at checkout to get an exclusive Mayhem discount of 25% off site-wide. Oh. Dang it, I had three. You did really good. Oh, man, the sorry, the sure best that. part was when you said Inside InsideTracker.com. Inside tracker. Yeah, so is, this what, is this the plan now to read the Yeah, every during? once in a while just so people can't scan through. That's mm-hmm. good. Got them. Now That's you're good. stuck. Yeah, I, I like try to make it kind of like mm-hmm. it's so you want to hear what kind of quirk we're going to put into it. Each That's time. good. I like that. Yeah. That's yeah. live. It's live. It's good. It's live. Yeah. yeah. Instead yeah. of just, you know. They'll do like, oh, go into a commercial. And hey, three, two. you guys. <laughs> I've been using RP diet for a while now. You know, like that. <laughs> <laughs> I, I haven't done the, the little. The DNA thing DNA for test. Yeah, it's still yeah, sitting in my house. I haven't I need done mine yet that. either. I did the. I need to do it. You drew the blood. That was the hard part, Tasia. It really was. My blood stopped drawing. Did you pass out or cry this time? I, I definitely cried a lot this time. The time before, I didn't cry at all. And then this time, we went swimming before, which I haven't done yet. So I don't know if it was from like... Took a like, piece of your soul? Like ex- the exertion. Because my vein just stopped drawing blood. It just stopped. Has that happened to you? No. Nope. They're like, all right, we're going to have to Maybe stick you again. Maybe you're just out of blood. And I was they like, stuck you again. No, um, they're like, we're gonna have to stick you again to get like the last thing. Did you just like push blood out? <laughs> I was like, come on. You know, you can tell something's wrong. Like I could tell something was wrong because people were like sitting near me, and I'm like, is it almost done? And they're like, yeah. And they're like trying to like make blood come out of my arm. I don't know if anyone knows how that Same happens. Same but different. I took a drug test. Like I can, I can pee on command. Like right now, if I had to, and you asked me, I could pee right here. Everybody watching. The worst is. <laughs> On a drug test, like one time, it was, I think it was games. I can't remember if it was games or regionals or sexual anyway. I pee. I'm like, all right, yeah, I can pee right now. There's a line that you have to get to. And no joke, I peed just below the line. <laughs> and the guy was like, sorry, bro. And like, that was all I had. So I had to sit there for like another hour just to like get enough to, because I can pee on command, right. but when it's gone in that moment, it's gone. It's gone. And right. I was like, oh, no. It was like the most demoralizing thing ever. I mean, peeing on command is harder than you think it would be. <clears throat> yeah, I really don't have that pro. Like this last time at Waterpalooza, I thought I was going to explode. Well, that's because we had been sitting there. I was ready to pee at that point. I was like physically in pain because I didn't have to pee. And they're like, hey, you guys have to stay here while the individuals go because you guys have been randomly selected to be drug tested. And I'm like, <laughs> all right, yeah, sure thing. So I'm like, I need to drink some water. So I started drinking some water. They have some food and stuff there for us. And so I downed too much water and then... Individuals went, and then the award ceremony that drug on for an hour and a half, like by the end of it, I couldn't stand up straight mm. because I thought I was going to, so I had to like run to pee. And so we get there and I finish and whatever, and they they all come back to like, hey, they decided not to drug test that us. They're the going to drug part. test independence <laughs> instead since they got the games ticket. And I was like, are you kidding me? <laughs> so I got drug tested before and after that weekend, but it was just like... I have never had to pee that bad, and I was like physically in pain. Mm. So you guys get tested all the time, randomly tested all the time. I always draw the random straw. It's so know. weird. <laughs> oh, actually, I need to update my. Oh no, I did update my. Uh, that you're here. My whereabouts. I was like, I'm not going anywhere. So why? Why do you have such a hard time with the whole blood draw thing? I don't know why, because it's not painful. Like people right. think it's like a painful. I don't know if it's like developed from a young age or right. something. But I like when I I've had times where I've got stuck, and people would say my veins collapse. So like I've been stuck multiple times. Mm. But for some reason, it just makes me feel weird. Like it gets me all worked up. Yeah. I don't know why. So, that lady from in, that, that inside tracker she's had good. come. She was really good. She's yeah. really good. Holy yeah, smoke! She's been here a couple times. Yeah. I've had to do some like life insurance stuff. I've had mm-hmm. to do inside tracker mm-hmm. stuff. I think she's even been on. 
a couple drug tests when I've had to give blood because somehow I randomly get drawn to give blood as well. I don't know why. So, yeah. yeah. That's Man, just, if you're good, you're good. I'm working on it. Yeah. Last time I, was just a... I did have a guy one time miss my veins at the games. I and was you, like, your how is that huge. possible? How yeah. do you do yeah. that? Yeah. You're horrible. Next. Yeah. yeah. If yeah. you miss, he's you... Like, oh, he's like, oh, man, you're just like... He said something, and I was like, bro, I've never had... Like, tried to blame it on me. And I was like, bro, I've never had any one person miss a vein or even have trouble once drawing blood for me. So, that's on you, bro. I've had, unfortunately, lots of surgeries. And they always want to bring in the new person. Yeah. You know, because you can't yeah, miss. Can't miss that. You just can't miss. And now I've got to where I won't let that happen. No. Like give me, give me the give somebody me the who knows how. Yeah. Give me the seasoned vet. Yeah, let's just do this and get yeah. on with it. Yeah. I'd rather do it myself. Gosh, no. I had one time I fainted too. Really? <laughs> yeah, I legit. Have you ever given blood? No, I think I would faint. What blood type are you? I don't know. Do you know? Uh, you know what? I don't know. Do you know? That's Being not negative. a good idea. I need to know that. How do you find that out? I gave blood one time. Oh, they tell they, you. They tell you. Yeah. Well, actually, I've given blood like five or six times. I haven't given blood in a while, though. I was going to give blood after the tornado thing, but then they something about if you had traveled out of the country, it was right when all this stuff started happening. So I couldn't give blood at that time. So I think now I could. Because they take a lot, don't they? they take like a pint? Is it more than a pint? A pint? That quart? sounds right. Yeah. Quart? It's a bunt. Not, not a quart. I don't know. It would be a good thing to know. I'll but Google it. We'll I got, I'll I got ask my, the Googles. Uh, I got my, uh, way back in the day, um, I got my IV certification stuff um, back when I was a firefighter. And I got my, you had to get so many sticks to be successful yeah. in order to be certified. And I'll never forget, I was at church one Sunday morning and somebody had a medical problem in the lobby. Oh. And the ambulance service showed up and the paramedic who was there was somebody I was working with. Yeah. So I came out of the church service. And she's like, hey, how many sticks do you need? I need one more. And then come to find out that the young lady who was having the problem was also kind of a, kind of a, had some real struggles emotionally. Mm. And so the paramedic whispers in my ear, he's like, I, I think she's faking it. So I want you to go for a vein in the hand. <laughs> and those are hard yeah. to stick somebody in the yeah, hand. usually what they go for when you have surgery. You right. Know, yeah. And so that was my last one. And I kind of fished a little bit, but I got her. And she was faking it. She came up off the ground and she was like, nope. And they kind of held her down and like, then they put her on a 24 hour hold. During a regular donation, you will give about 470 milliliters of whole blood. This is about 8% of the average adult's blood volume. The body replaces the volume within 24 to 48 hours and replenishes red blood cells in 10 to 12 weeks. So we will not give blood until after the games. (laughs) I need those red blood cells. Yeah, you do. Crazy. Yeah, cool. well, you're getting better. At least you didn't pass out this time. Good job. All right. That's it. End of the episode. Cool. Mayhemmindset.com, CrossFitMayhem.com, ProningFarms.com. Anything else, Trey? Tasia's about to do 80 calories. It's going to be really entertaining. On what, an assault bike or what? Echo bike. It's supposed oh, to be an assault bike. bike, but... She gets, she gets $200 it. if she does it under five minutes. Four minutes. I wish four that minutes. was physically possible. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. All right. Yeah, under four minutes? Huh, you can bucks. do it. But the thing is, it's like, is that physically possible? Is this physically possible? No. Oh, that was on last week. We watched Little Giants sidebar. I know we told you we're done. <laughs> Little Giants. Do you remember Little Giants? <laughs> I do remember that. When movie. he's like, I'm going to make you fart out your mouth and talk out your butt. And he's like, <laughs> is that physically possible? <laughs> and then at the end, he hits him and he's like talking. He's like, I guess it is physically possible. <laughs> so, all right. Well, peace. Peace.